Hey hello guys, today I will be reviewing an Android launcher that is not available on Play Store. But the launcher is amazing itself. The launcher is named Launcher that is L-A-W-N-C-H-A-I-R which doesn't mean anything but there it is. So you might be wondering uh, what is so different about this launcher. I mean there is Nova which is like the king of the launchers and other cool launchers that we can use of but what is so special about this launcher right so in this video i'm just going to show you that how it is different and why it is different so let's dive into this so first thing first the looks this looks exactly like the pixel launcher as you can see but wait there is more to this the pixel launcher is not available for download and install from Play Store. So to install it, you should have root access and a custom recovery to flash the zip file. But Launcher does not require root access and it is available in APK format to download. So you can download it and just press on install and enjoy it. Also, Pixel Launcher isn't customizable in any way but with Launcher, you can do a bunch of customization. So let's see what we can do. Let's go to the settings where we can do all the customization. If you long press on the home and there you can see the settings on the bottom. So there are 5 options, 5 not sorry, there are 6 options. Let's jump into the first one that is UI. Here the first thing is icon pack. So you can use your own favorite icon packs that you have downloaded. Like here, I'm using the Taz icon pack and I have also the Gleam icon pack and the default is none. So I can switch between Gleam and Taz. And these icon packs I have downloaded from Play Store. So if you have downloaded your favorite icon packs from Play Store, you can use it here, definitely. The next thing is use Google, use white Google icon. So this option is for the Google widget we can see on the home screen so if we enable this option the google icon that is uh, of multiple color will be of white color so you can use this if you like it enable screen rotation so if you uh, switch on this option when you have auto rotation on so when you uh, rotate the phone the launcher will automatically be rotated so this option is for that hard icon labels on home screen so the icons on the home screen have labels like on below whatsapp it is written whatsapp so you can hide that too if you like it color of icon labels on home screen so the icon labels the text below the icons you can choose the color for that if you like it and some other customization on color so the columns and the rows defines how many number of apps will be per line so you can uh, edit that so here are the numbers 3 to 9 you can customize that as same as for the number of rows the next thing is icon scale with this slider you can increase or decrease the size of the icons on home screen let's see how it works let me increase the icon size so now it is on 100% so let's go to the home screen and see how does it look so as you can see the icon labels or the icon size has been increased it doesn't look good to me but if you like that you can adjust your icon size as per your wish so that is there for you the next thing is icon text scale so it is the same as the icon uh, scale so you can the you can change the uh, text size below the icons as much as you can and you can enjoy that if you like full width widgets with full width widget enable the widgets will span over the whole width layout without any padding so this if you turn on this you can enjoy the whole width without padding the next feature which is really amazing is adopted from android audio that is android 8.0 which has been recently launched um, the feature is notification badges and preview so for this custom uh, for this option i'm just waiting a bit 
to show you the show you this in details so we will see in that in a moment the next thing the next customization part is dock that is the uh, bottom part of your home screen so dock uses wallpaper colors so you have a wallpaper so dock will use that uh, um, some color extracted from it so you can enable that transparent dock if you uh, turn this on the dock will be transparent like mine let me show you so if you disable this now let's go back to the home screen you can see the background is blurred it is not transparent so this way the transparent dock works so I'm going to revert it back hide dock you can also hide the dock if you like to number of icons in the dock uh, just like the uh, number of icons on the home screen or in the drawer so you can choose the number of icon I think it is 5 on default but you can change as you like the next part is theming uh, extract accent color from wallpaper so if you have a wallpaper uh, on the back that will definitely do so the majority color or a color will be extracted from the wallpaper to uh, theme your uh, drawer so let me show you this one so this is my drawer and you can see the search app text is colored with blue and the right scroll button is also of color blue so this blue color the launcher has extracted from the my extracted from my wallpaper so for different wallpapers this will be changed the next thing is theme there are two themes that is uh, three things sorry light dark and black i haven't tried black and light i am uh, happy with dark so you can i will leave that to you for see that how it looks the current one is dark one so you can also choose where you, you will apply the theme on the search bar folder or talk on all apps also app shortcuts blur effect so i haven't enabled anything from here so i will i will also leave this on you and let you discover the settings enable blur this is a really nice uh, thing or feature that's uh, enabling blur so on the current screen on the background you can see the background the background is a little bit blur and you can uh, and uh, transparent also you can see the wallpaper slightly and it is also blurred so this kind of uh, effects will be uh, applied throughout the launcher uh, let me show you where you can uh, apply this blur settings there is search bar folder and docs and all apps i have enabled it on search bar and lock uh, doc and all apps let me show you on the drawer you can see the background is blurred that is one and on the google widget you can see the background is blurred it is not of color uh, black or white or anything else it is blurred so you can also uh, set the blur radius or the amount of blur you want to apply on the things that you like so that's it for ui let's move on to the pixel style so on pixel style oops sorry for that on pixel style you can see the first option is for home screen that is show pixel on top bar the pixel on top bar means the google widget that we have on the top top left corner so that is the show pixel top bar use white search bar that is the old google search bar that we used to have on marshmallow and uh, other launchers so that is quite boring so there is if you like that you can also use that that is there for you show google assistant button so let me show you the google assistant button on my home screen so just right to the google g icon there is another icon for google assistant i haven't installed google uh, assistant so on pressing that nothing will happen but if you have google assistant installed that will definitely work the next thing is use pixel icon this is for the default pixel icons that is round shaped and if you like that that is there for you animated clock icons show google now page the google now page is there right so this is 
just like the pixel icon if then you have the Google now page the next thing is enable weather so weather is there weather units is there you can choose metric or imperial there are two weather providers here I am using the Google awareness API that is good for me and you can also choose the city that is disabled right now but when you will install it for, for the first time that will be available to you so this so this is all for the pixel style so let's jump into the behavior section so these, these are some uh, small tweaks that there is available for you uh, that is pull down action uh, light status bar show top shadow the show top shadow is for the status bar on the home screen that you can see the status bar icon more clearly okay and uh, enable vibration if this is vibration for some sort of work that you can enable and try it out i haven't seen that i haven't tried that out mm, the other thing is uh, pull down action yes i might uh, show you that i should show you that pull down action if you pull down just from here the quick sitting panel will be pulled down so you don't need to have to pull it down from the from the way up from the web status bar so you can just swipe here and the status bar and the quick settings will be there for you and that's it for the settings now let me show you the part where i've been uh, saying the about the notification batch and preview feature from android 8.0 that is android audio you can see a green circle dot on top right corner of the whatsapp icon that is the notification badge if you have any unread messages this dot will occur or this dot will show up and if you long press on the icon as i am doing right now you can see a preview of the message and who it is from like you can see my buddy Gorov have sent me uh, two messages just to show you this feature uh, isn't that cool I find it really cool okay so you can also see some shortcuts on top of that like camera and some frequent contacts that we message you well not only whatsapp but other apps like Mintra, Flipkart, YouTube, Prevify gmail also supports this feature let me show you when you this is flipkart this is mintra this is substratum this is greenify so all sort of uh, uh, options that is uh, quick options or quick settings are there for you when you long press on the apps which i found really convenient and another last thing is with the icons if you long press on the icon then you can see an edit option if you select that one you can edit the app name edit the app name and also edit the icon that means you can also set a custom icon let's press on the icon so there you have it i have two icon Tags installed that Taz and Glim, and there are three icons for Instagram available for me. That is the default one, and those two are from Glim, one from Glim, and one from Taz. And here, the main thing that I will show you: if you tap on any of these two icon tags, like uh, like I am going to now tap on Taz, what will do? It will lo load all the icon available with that icon pack and from that you can choose any icon for that particular app if you like so this so there you have it these are all the icons from the TAS icon pack so let me just quickly select an icon for just to show you uh, let me select this id one okay so now just click outside now you can see the instagram has become id with icon id and the icon 11 instagram so that's it guys uh, this is the launcher launcher that sounds really uh, confusing this is the launcher that i'm i was talking 
about and uh, was really excited about i have been using this launcher for past uh, one month and i'm really enjoying it so i will leave the uh, original website for this launcher and the download link direct download link for the apk file in the description so that you can download it and enjoy it and uh, i also should mention that you can uh, install this launcher on any android device that is doesn't matter if the um, device is running an nougat or in marshmallow or in lollipop or in kitkat so it doesn't matter but this launcher will work on that so you can enjoy uh, uh, android audio style feature under audio uh, style um, launcher on your current android device um, right now so that is really cool and this looks really nice to me so that's it guys if you find this video really helpful or if you find this launcher cool subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this and yeah thanks for watching